so today I'm going to be showing you the behind the scenes process of this video concept I had for Halloween. Before even knowing what costumes I wanted to use, I knew that I wanted to integrate a mirror concept. I also decided to use the MIA remix song because that is kind of a trending audio right now, especially for like transformations and like Halloween, so I thought that was a really good pair. So I did some prep work in the bathroom just to make sure the concept works. I left some room for flexibility in terms of costume because I really wasn't sure what would be available and I'm not creative enough to put together my closet to create some sort of costume, so I knew I had to go out and rent a costume, which is exactly what I did next. My initial idea for a costume was going to be something spooky, something like all black, maybe even with wings, just because I feel like that's the easiest way to know that it's like a spooky Halloween concept. But when I got there, even though the place had so many options, I just didn't really feel like I could transform any of them with my concept. I was just kind of sifting through the different looks and suddenly I found a princess section. They told me that they had both the Belle princess outfit and then the apron outfit of hers. So I took it home to rent and then I was trying to figure out how to integrate it into my video concept. The costumes also came with some accessories including this crown which ended up prompting some more creative ideas for the video. This big poofy dress over here, wearing this blue poofy dress. Gonna wear heels so that it'll align with the mirror better. Let's begin. <laughs> Okay, I just checked the camera and I hope they are okay. I did them quite a couple of times and I had to loop the video over and over again on my phone because the glove was not touch sensor friendly. I hope one of those takes are okay. I'm gonna change out of this outfit now, change my hair, and go into like the Princess Bell outfit. Creating this piece was a lot of work because I had to keep the tripod still and then change in and out of both costumes, which is really heavy. And then it got hot really quickly. Oh, sweating. I kept creating multiple videos because I was really worried I wouldn't be able to pull off the masking in post, so I just created a bunch of variations. Otherwise, everything's gonna be different and I'm gonna have to start it all over again, which isn't too big of a deal, but I don't really wanna do that, so uh, yeah, hang on. I'm a princess now. <laughs> this took me way longer than I thought it would because I really did not know how to style this. And the Princess Belle costume had a back that you had to tie and I had to keep coming in and out of that. And finally, of course, we have a crown for coronation, which not gonna lie, it makes me pretty happy. How do I do this? There's so many things going on. The lighting has changed because I took it that long. So we're gonna see what I can do here. Not only did I spend way too much time on the video, I also kind of ran out of time to create the picture. And soon enough it was nighttime, so I didn't have enough natural light source to continue, so I had to move on to the next day. The next day was a bit better because I knew how to do my makeup and my hair, which obviously took a lot of time. And it was a learning curve because I've never had to do like an updo like that before. But because of that, things went a bit smoother. Going up the stairs here is freaking dangerous. Ready to shoot? This thing is a monster. But uh, yeah, I fixed my ribbon up here. So hopefully it'll stay a bit better. And you see the little flyaways, but I'm not too bothered by that. The other viewpoint of me is like this. I'm gonna try and fit myself within the frame here. It was kind of hard for me to get the right angles that I was looking for because the Princess Belle dress is really big and poofy and it's kind of hard to not have that overflow into the space that I was trying to use. Okay, I think I'm over the stairs. At one point I was trying to film in the bathroom because there's really nice sunlight that comes through the curtains there. I really like the lighting over here and I think it could be kind of moodier. I thought it could create kind of a nice depth of shadow. Super hot, so I have this fan over here. 
So I'm not guessing the results that I'm looking for right now. So I'm just gonna keep moving so that I don't get stuck in one place for too long and get frustrated, which I kind of already am. So let's keep going. I knew that I wanted to create a clone image for both of the costumes to be in one image so that you can kind of understand it's like the before and after Belle Princess. But I kind of had difficulty coming up with how to creatively put the two together. And I knew I was running against the sun, so I had to keep moving around. After all of that, I'm glad that I was able to put something together. If you want to see the final video, I will link my Instagram down below. Feel free to follow if you want to see more of this type of content. Thanks so much for coming on this journey with me. If you enjoyed it or learned something from this, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you!